hear the Frugal Crafter as promised. I'm gonna review those markers. I bought at AC Moore a week or two ago. They have these new um, markers and they're called dual tip design markers. They're by Premier, um, parent company Nicole, which you see at, at many craft stores, I think, and AC Moore has a lot of Nicole products. And they just came out with these double tipped markers. Um, the regular price on these, I think is $3.99. They had them on sale, three for $5. And with my teacher's discount, I paid a, under $1.50 per marker. Rather than getting the basic set of 12 they had, I thought I would buy some open stock. Just kind of going by the swatches on the display and on the markers. Markers, um, to kind of guide me so they have a plastic end not a sticker which is kind of nice except for the fact that they don't really match the um, the colors perfectly that one's pretty good that salmon there but we'll go through and look at them I think this one's pretty good the ferns pretty close ferns a little bit lighter on the cap than it is in real life um, some are way off um, Dawn Sky for instance looks very lavender on the cap and looks very pink on the paper so um, so it was, it was a little, um, a little deceiving going by the colors here, like, um, saffron, peach, and apricot. Well, I guess they did look fairly close here, but I, I thought, because there's not that many markers in the range, that they would be quite a bit different. And if I hold them up there, um, you know, they're, they're fairly close, but they're not a perfect, um, representation like a Copic marker would be. So you'll definitely, if you decide to buy some of these, you want to swatch them out onto some paper so you know and just keep them with your markers. It doesn't have to be fancy. This isn't fancy. I just wanted to make sure I had something to go by so I didn't accidentally grab the wrong color. So what I'm going to do is just stamp a few things on a piece of cardstock here and since I'm using alcohol markers I'm going to use Memento ink since Memento does not bleed with alcohol markers and I thought I would just use brown instead of black because I'm doing like a, a little chicky and a balloon and these stamps are uh, by Stampin' Up! They're celebration sets. I don't know if you guys know but Stampin' Up! does a uh, big promotion every year and it's through March 31st. They do um, celebration and basically you get for every $50 you spend, you get a free stamp set. And this was one of the free sets. Oh my gosh, so cute. I loved everything in the catalog. Um, I picked out three things that I just couldn't live without. I'm trying to decide what side I want the balloon on. I think I think this side. So I'm just going to have to account for the fact that I know I've got like about an eighth of an inch there. So just hopefully won't hopefully it won't overlap hopefully I'll be good I didn't feel like getting on a stamp positioner so sue me and not too bad not too shabby and I liked this little sentiment hang in there I thought this would be really cute to put on a card you know and then if you have a girlfriend or something who's having a rough time you pop that in the mail and I just think that would be kind of sweet all right now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some coloring um typically the memento ink dries pretty quickly so i shouldn't have to uh, worry too much there i'll zoom in so you can see um so these are your basic alcohol markers i think that um they're they're probably a pretty good choice for a budget um budget user but then again let's use them and make sure they're actually worth the money before you know anybody runs out and grabs any i think i'm going to start with pumpkin lemon Caramel and saffron and we'll see what we can get there and uh, again I've got my um, my little swatch off screen over here so I can look at that and make sure that um, That I'm gonna be getting some decent results here. Um, I am gonna start with the pumpkin I think oh and so you gotta you the the nibs are actually identical to the Prismacolor nibs You've got the tri nibs so you can get different. Um, let me just show you here. You can get different widths from the tri nib so this is wide this is um, on its edge, so you got two two edges from the um, from the nib there, from the chisel nib instead of just one side, I guess. And then on the the bullet tip, you've got a, you've got an even finer nib, so it's it's kind of nice. I like those nibs better better than a regular chisel nib, but that's just me. And I'm going to go in and add some shadow here. Now these probably, if I was, honestly, if I had my other markers, which are downstairs, or if I was using a different brand where I had more, I would probably go for colors that were a little bit closer together. Uh, but I'm going to make do with what I had. Um, I just kind of guessed as to what colors I was going to want. So, But I'm coloring just like I would any other alcohol marker thing. I am going around the edge first with my darker color. And then I'm going to go over that with this yellow, do a little blending here. 
and pull that color in. They are blending quite nice. I am using Nina uh, Classic Crest Solar White Smooth Cardstock which does make it easier to blend, I'm not going to lie to you. If you were going to do this on like Georgia Pacific or the Nina that's at Target, which isn't the same as the um, the Classic Crest, you probably would want to first color it with like a clear marker, like just a clear blender, and I didn't grab a clear blender from this line of markers because I have clear blenders in many other versions, um, and that would just help you kind of, um, it, it would just kind of help the help everything kind of blend. And sometimes I like to go to the bullet, the uh, chisel side rather, just when I need to cover a large area. And since these are kind of a big jump, these colors are a big jump from one another, I am, I am kind of going over the whole thing. And I also grabbed this darker color, this caramel. I thought maybe I would do uh, some more shadows with that. Couldn't decide what color feet. I thought, well, I'll just do this. Some more shadows in there. And I do notice when I have a limited uh, palette, I do tend to have to work the colors a little bit more. So just be careful if you are adding a lot of color, not to go too close to the edge because you might bleed out. Because once you saturate the, um, once you saturate the paper, the, the the ink has to go somewhere and it will it'll bleed outwards. So basically I want the chick yellow, but the lemon yellow is a little intense, so I'm just kind of tempering it with that pumpkin and with that saffron. It went all over everything with you gotta do what you gotta do, right? The nips feel they're they seem to be quite juicy. Um I think when I was swatching them out, some colors felt a little bit, no, I want the lemon again. Uh, some color, colors felt a little bit dry. They were the lighter colors like the Robin's Egg Blue. That's something that's kind of typical I found with um, alcohol markers. The lighter the shade, the more dry they feel. And I think it's because it's more alcohol and less pigment in the markers. And I've talked to other artists who have a very similar experience. I think these are very comparable to Prismacolors. I don't care for how the um, how the colors aren't registered as well, but I don't think there's really, you know, you could just take a sticker, like punch a circle out of sticker paper and color it and get your own, um, your own, whatchamacallit, oh my gosh, words. You could make your own chart that way and stick a little sticker on there with an accurate color swatch. I just want to make that a little bit, a little bit oranger. And then for the balloon, let's do some brighter colors. So I'm gonna look here and see what I have that I think would blend well together. I think that salmon to dragon fruit to rose, I think those three would go pretty well together. So I got rose, salmon, dragon fruit. You know, I think it would, for a very beginner, I think these would be a good, um, a good buy if, say, you bought, like, a package of, um, you know, 36 Bic Markets, which would be, tend to be your brighter colors, and then you went through, like, maybe swatched them out and brought them to the store, and then got some of the lighter colors, because that way you could get, you know, Bic Markets, you can get a set of 36 for under $20, and then, you know, buy a few of these and the lighter colors and a blending marker, and you can, you know, set yourself up quite well with not a lot of money. I think if you already have, like, other markers, though, these might be a little disappointing. So, you know, maybe just grab a couple and see what you think. I was, you know, fully prepared to take these back if I wasn't happy with them. Um, I think you know, using them with my other markers, I'll have a pretty good range, so I think I'll keep them. But, uh, but if you already have a lot of markers, I don't think they're, I don't think you would be, um, that impressed, personally. I think I'll do teal, maybe teal or turquoise in there, maybe do some shadows with teal and add the, make the little, um, maybe I'll do the eyes teal. I just don't like how, I didn't grab a brown, a really good brown, a little caramel maybe, but it's still not that dark, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. But I don't find the markers bleed too much. I mean, I'm going in that small area and, and it's not bleeding out, so that's kind of good. Yeah, I think I think they're fine. I like the quality of the nibs. 
I don't know how long lasting they're going to be. The nib, the bullet nibs feel a little soft. Um, you know, sometimes nibs can feel kind of stiff when they're new and then they soften up. These feel kind of soft to begin with, but I don't necessarily think that's anything to, um, to be concerned about. Oh, you know what might be kind of cute? I, this, I got this set too. This is one I bought to, uh, so I could get the free deal. Um, I, all these little, these little grass, grass would be cute, wouldn't it? I'm going to do that in the brown and I'll color it with my, with my markers. This is such a like hello fi tutorial, isn't it? It's just like, oh, Lindsay's just making a card. What you see is what you get. Nothing fancy. No fancy edits. You guys are probably not used to fancy edits if you're watching this, this show. All right. Oh my gosh. I think that's cute. All right. So let me grab some of that. I do like this fern color. Um, Oh yeah, I like that's cute. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's cute. Um, I kind of wish they had like a, a chart at the store so I could have seen what the um, what the markers really were gonna look like to help me decide what colors I really wanted to have. Cause the chart there I didn't find to be very uh, informative. But maybe uh, maybe they'll post something like that on their website. I don't know. But I you know I think they're a pretty good buy, especially if you can get them for you know next to nothing like I did. You know it was I think I paid like a dollar forty four a piece with my teacher's discount. So you know for that price I think it's a good deal. And then I'll just trim that out and put it on a card. But I just wanted to give you that um, that quick kind of just tutorial. Let's try them out. Let's see what we think. I think that um, they're a good buy. If you already have a ton of markers though, I'd probably pass on them because there's only the, the range, there's not a huge range. I'm thinking, I don't know, there may be 60 colors in the range or there's not a ton, but um, if you're just starting out and you want some shades, you know, get this with a pack of, you know, Bic Markets or Sharpies, you'd have a nice selection to get started with. And then you probably would need to branch out into Prismacolor or Pro Marker or Copic or something that has a larger range. Um, but all these markers will work good together. I would just keep a swatch. When you go shopping, bring it with you so you don't duplicate and try some other brands with it so you can have a full range of colors because I don't think you'd be happy with the range. At least, uh, you know, from, from what I grabbed here, um, I felt like it was, it was kind of lacking and I thought I picked out a fairly good range when I was at the store. But there you have it. There is my um, opinion of that. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like product reviews and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.